Hi everybody, it's Evelyn with Cats Play Art. Uh, let me adjust the camera here. Um, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a few days. Uh, I was having issues with my uh, camera on my phone, so I ordered a brand new video camera. Uh, I got it yesterday and immediately started fiddling and I super duper hurried up and I started to film and I had the settings wrong. Uh, it filmed in one minute bursts and it's like, this is not what I want. So I am going to do another painting. Uh, it, uh, it is going to be a flip cup, a four cup flip cup. Um, and I am using a 16 by 20 canvas. It is a black canvas only because that is what I had open and I didn't want to open another box of canvases uh, to do uh, this flip cup. So uh, I thought, well, I'll use what I have. And these are seven ounce cups. They're cute little cups. Just cute little cups um, that I got. And according to the ca uh, calculator, I should have about 17 to 18 ounces of paint to cover this canvas. If I fill these up, It'll be 20 plus, so I figure I'm good. And uh, I am going to be using Modern Masters Metallic White Pearl. I love saying pearl. I always start off and get the last cup a little less paint in. I don't know if that is something that everybody experiences, that they're like stingy on the first cup. Because I'm trying to get it's about an even amount of paint in each cup. Okay. And this is Folk Art Treasured Gold Aqua Marine. Just a beautiful, beautiful color. I'm going to put that in two cups first. This is Folk Art Treasured Gold Rose Quartz, which is another beautiful color. And then this is Deco Art Glorious Gold. I wanted a gold that was beautiful, but yet not as overpoweringly she, uh, shiny as what the uh, 24 karat is. And this is, this one fits the bill. It's beautiful uh, and glor uh, beautiful and glorious, since it's glorious gold. Um, and it, it's, it's just, I like all these colors. Can you tell? Um, I just, I just think they're beautiful. Now on the two that I put the aqua first, after the gold, I'm going to do the rose quartz. And then I'm going to do the aqua on the ones that I put rose quartz in first. Okay. 
back to the metallic white pearl. It has been a beautiful day today. Um, it apparently is going to be the last of our beautiful weather for about four days. So uh, I, I'm pouring in the evening because I took advantage of it being so pretty outside and spent after work some time out with my dog and played fetch. And I thought, okay, now that the the sun hasn't gone down, but it's it's starting to. And I thought, well, okay, I need to do a painting. Uh, I don't want to go uh, oh, a long time. Oh, I almost forgot the rose on this. These. I don't want to go a long time without posting, because um, I don't want you to think I've given up on my channel. I I I love my YouTube channel. I'm enjoying it. It's also very nice to be able to go back and say, I really like this painting. Now, what did I do? Uh, it, it's very helpful. Um, and I, you can, that's one thing about having it uh, recorded for prosperity is you can, uh, it can look and see, you know, how you did different techniques to get the, an effect you liked. Or if you get an effect you dislike, say, okay, this is what I did. I want to try this instead. <clears throat> and I've had a lot of support from uh, my friends. Uh, I have friends both in the painting community and in the coloring community. And... God bless them. They have supported me like you would not believe, and I really appreciate it. Uh, also, my family has, has uh, really stepped up and supported me, and also the people at work, which, considering they all have pieces of art I've done, it's kind of nice to know that they, they're supporting this journey and, uh, and uh, carrying on with me, uh, and I do appreciate it. I'm moving the colors over so I, whenever I start tilting, I don't make a big old mess. I'm going to top this off with one more layer of white. And that should be it. I hope if you have subscribed to my channel that you are enjoying what I'm doing. Um, you'll need to... I am going to ask you uh, to comment on this video once I get it up. And let me know if you think the video quality is better. The sound quality is better. Because the video camera I've got has this great big mic on it. So we will see. Well, I guess there's no putting it off. I need to flip these and I'm going to do, since I layered them differently, I'm going to do an every other one flip. Um, let's start with the aquamarine. Okay, are we ready? This is always the moment of truth for me because I seem to want to, I get splashes like that. <laughs> I'm a mess. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That did not go exactly the way I anticipated, but uh, I splashed paint onto my pedal pad. But that's why the pedal pad is there. Now, I have done, I've seen someone else do this trick, and I'm going to try it. Um, I have a rather used uh, tack. And I'm going to well, like, poke a hole, which will release the pressure and help the paint spread. I'm good. I uh, okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
two. And I'm going to put the cup down, let it drain out the rest of the way at that corner. I don't plan on reusing these cups, so poking a hole in it is not a big deal. But you're suppo it's supposed to release more of the paint. One, two, three. Again, I'm going to set the cup down. Let the rest of the paint dry out. Or drain out. Dry out, not... Oh my goodness. Okay. Last one, which was a big sploosh. So I may not get as much out of this one cup because I splished most of it over. Ooh. I hope you're seeing these colors. They're beautiful. They're just so beautiful. Um, pull the cups off. I know most people don't let the we the cups sitting on the on the canvas, but I thought you know I'm not I don't want to waste the paint that may be in left in the cup, so there you go. Now oh, these cups off the table to torch or not to torch beforehand. I broke down and I bought. A heat gun. So let's try that as a starter. I still have my torch, but I wanted to see what the heat gun did. And I'm going to pop some of the bubble, uh, air bubbles. I'm not really trying to do up cells, I just want to pop the air bubbles. So I'm going to go kind of quickly over this where I see the air bubbles. And I'll do it again once I stretch it out. It's a pretty cool little tool, I'll tell you. No flame. <laughs> okay. Let us begin the tilting process. And I'm going to slowly kind of walk it back and forth. To get it down to the weight of the paint down to this end of the canvas. I think I have plenty of paint on here, but I'm losing some of my design that I'm not happy with. So I'm going to scooch back, grab my Dutch boy, our Dutch pour metallic white, which is super thin. And I think I'm going to cover some of these blank spots with that so the paint will flow and not fold over on itself. So I don't lose a lot of my very cool patterns. No rigs. Uh, my dog has come to visit. Uh, I normally put him out uh, whenever I'm painting, but I did not today. He he was so sound asleep because he spent the afternoon chasing squirrels and trying to figure out how he could climb trees to get to the squirrels that were teasing him in the tree. Uh, so he had an adventuresome day. And he was sound asleep until I started to paint. But that's okay. I, I will get done with this and then I will take him out again. I He just wants my attention. don't think he really needs to go to the restroom or anything. Since he was just out. Okay. Now if I have paint all over the side, it's going to be the white and not on my really pretty color. Okay. 
continue the tilting process. They said I I don't want to lose a lot of the color and the patterns I have. Oop, too fast. Every once in a while, the hardest part of tilting for me is going slow and not getting anxious and wanting to hurry the process up so I can see what I have. And I think that is a lot of uh, my fellow artists has that problem. They want to rush the tilt, get the get it all pretty, get the painting all pretty. Um, I am so I'm trying to teach myself to be more patient. Um, bring that back down on this side. Pour off that white. on the puppy pad. Oh, come on. Pushing it back. I should have plenty of paint to cover this canvas. And I'm making a big mess on my hands, but that's okay. I don't mind. I just I these colors are so pretty and I I if I can save as much of the color as possible I would love to do so but I know I gotta cover the paint the canvas um, it's okay to have negative space but it's not okay to have bra canvas See, I've only got one, that one spot over there that kind of needs to go off. Yes, I do. And bring it back to the center. Hmm. Now, it's time to work a little bit on the composition. I really like this. I love this. This is interesting. Actually, I kind of like the squirrels in, in that. I am going to take some paint and dab my corners. Make sure my corners are thoroughly covered. And where I put my hand on the side of the painting here, which is... I don't know if anybody else has this trouble, but Every once in a while, I just, I, I lose track of what I'm doing with my hands, and suddenly I have, have my hands on the side of the uh, canvas versus on the push pins, and then suddenly I have a hand print on the, on the side of the canvas, and that's not good. Runs, no. Okay. Let me pick up the heat gun again and see if I can bring up any cells by heating this. I have some coming up and hopefully I can get some more. There's some lacing. I'm going kind of slow. Um, I don't know how much heat this is going to take um, to do this um, since it's the first time using my heat gun. Uh,
try not to get the cord and the paint that overlapped. I may still have a bit too much paint on the canvas. And I'm not getting the results I want with the heat gun. Maybe because I can see air bubbles and they're not they're not popping. So good old torch. See if I get better results with the torch versus the heat gun. Dog hair. <laughs> the only bad thing about having animals is suddenly you come find dog hair, cat hair, in your paint. I'm not seeing a whole lot of cells or lacing. But it is beautiful. So let me uh, put the camera on hold. I uh, will go wash my hands. I'm 